Welcome back to Thought Experiment Month with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to continue in philosophy of mind and artificial intelligence with the Korean Room Thought Experiment. If you haven't checked out the original video on the Chinese Room Thought Experiment, you should do that now. The Korean Room is going to be a thought experiment that is trying to refute the claims in the Chinese Room thought experiment. So imagine we're back in our original room with a big translation book, a pile of paper, and characters being passed back and forth under the door. But this time, instead of just having Chinese characters in the book, there's Korean characters as well. And Korean characters are also being passed back and forth in and out of the room. Suppose as well that when questions are asked in Chinese, it seems that an uneducated about 17-year-old boy responds in his responses. While when the Korean characters are passed under the door, a very well-educated older Korean woman responds to those questions. It seems now that there is not just one consciousness in this room, but in fact two consciousnesses that are somehow created through the system of all the person, the paper, the translation book, and in fact the entire room here. Because we don't just have one consciousness, we seem to have two, we seem to be getting towards the point of it's not the person who knows it, but the whole system. Basically, there are two minds, one that understands Korean and one that understands Chinese, neither of which seem to be understanding English. So it has nothing to do with what's going on in the person's mind, but rather the mind of the whole system. That was the Korean Room Thought Experiment. Next up is the Luminous Room Thought Experiment Watch a new video every single day this month at carneades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.